looking ahead in order to deliver a favorable environment for sustainable growth and to support confidence and competitiveness, the Governing Council stresses the urgent need for governments to make further progress towards restoring sound fiscal positions and implementing the structural reform agenda. The threat is pan-European and a national level response or a local level response isn't going to be on uh, the requisite scale to be actually be able to, to combat that. So the, the scale of the resistance has to be uh, commensurate, I think, with the scale of the threat. The focus of this meeting has been strategy. So how to strategize together our response to the neoliberal attack that Europe is facing and learning from the successful histories of resistance, learning tactics from different struggles, and based on that, work towards a more coherent European social response to the crisis that so far has been mainly national or sectorial. We had a lot of analytical meetings in the last year or even in the last years. <laughs> And we always saw that we need a strategy, that it's not only about um, knowing what the Troika does or what economic governance is, but how we can work together, how we can be more coordinated. I think that very often we're very committed to, to you know, try and do something together, but often we keep forgetting that uh, in order to be really productive and to have a good meeting where really people can come in and feel comfortable, you need to organize also the process in a good way. According to the circumstances, having so many different groups, uh, so many different people from different uh, political uh, routes, uh, it was good, like uh, you must have uh, some kind of a pre-made, pre-thought, I don't know, uh, procedure and uh, it was open to, for this to change which is also in our direct democracy ideas. You don't have a, a strict position and strict structure and that's a doctrine, so you don't do nothing else. You are making something and uh, as it goes on, you see if it uh, must be changed. And it's changed. I thought it was good. The, the, the circumstances was like that, so I, I thought it was a good procedure, open procedure, and uh, didn't have any, uh, any, any doctrines or something, uh, this is it. And, no one else talks. We talked about democracy, we talked about commons, we talked about the Troika, we talked about the Pact for Competitiveness, and we talked a little bit analytical, but we really quickly um, went into the working groups and there the magic happened in a way. Uh, we started to get more concrete to find the common stepping stones which we wanted to develop. Okay, fine. I'm going to ask everyone to be very conscious of that, and so when they talk, to try to be very, you know, to the point and brief, uh, so that we can get more people to speak. In the big new newspapers and our government, they speak about, yeah, of course, um, there is less democracy. There is uh, less democracy, and, and uh, we have to accept it because it's necessary. There is uh, a continuity in long period. We have to consider that. Uh, Competitiveness was uh, one of the dominant narratives uh, starting from Maastricht Treaty. The working groups uh, help a lot uh, to cater for different um, expectations on, on, on what the outcomes are because it's true that there is a lot of diversity in the organizations and activists. We have um, a lot of good points which are related to the EU elections, for example, and we have a lot of good points on the Troika and this Troika party thing will be great. And I think um, the most important outcome is that we have different actions, but not too many. We don't have like six action days and um, 20 uh, topics we want to work on, but we have like three or four things which will be important. And I think it's manageable. And there is something for everyone. I think there is different levels of how to get involved. I think in, in, in a country, I think the, the best way is, of course, to get involved with 
those groups that are already part of this process? I, I think there's reasonably good uh, email lists and, and websites and so on advertising these meetings. I think people can come along to them. They can join up to list servers, like, for example, the EU in Crisis list server, which, which lists this and all similar types of upcoming activities. And really, it's, I think it's pretty open. Um, it's, it's not a, a group, it's not a movement that, that seeks to define itself in overly pure terms. So people of all political persuasions, or of none to date, can join in. It's generally uh, based around opposition to European neoliberalism and the direction that Europe is taking. And anybody who feels at ease with opposition to that, or, or is at the receiving end of what that project is doing to them, please come along. The more the better.